Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, November 2, 2024, we are looking at the topic, Hearing from God. I remember verses taken from Isaiah 30, verse 21, which says, And our ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Our text is taken from John 10, 2-5. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Hearing is critical to all humans. For example, you will immediately know that you need to get out of the way when you hear the blare of a car's horn behind you. Beyond hearing the physical, it is also critical for believers to be able to hear from God, as we see in our memory verse. Due to my training as a mathematician, that's according to our Father and Lord, I have learned to delve into things that are not obvious. For instance, many Christians miss out on the fact that Elisha and Elijah were talking as they walked together in 2 Kings 2 verse 11. When I studied that scripture, I wondered what their discussion was about. Also in Daniel 3, when the three brew men were with the fourth man in the fire, what were they talking about? What did Jesus discuss with Moses and Elijah in Matthew 17 verse 1 to 9? What was so crucial that they came down from heaven to discuss with Jesus? In 2 Corinthians 12 1 to 4, Paul said that he heard words that were not lawful for a man to speak. What were those words? In Revelation 10 verse 4, John heard some things and wanted to write them down, but the angel told him they were not to be written. They were for his ears alone. What did he hear? I am really curious about this and many more of such conversations. God made the world, world with words. Words are very powerful, especially when they come from God. The Bible says that the entrance of his word always brings light to the era and to situations, according to Psalm 119 verse 130. You cannot live an effective Christian life if you do not hear from God. The Bible teaches that if you believe, you will see the glory of God, according to John 11:40. However, this faith comes by hearing the word of God, according to Romans 10 verse 17. Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent his word and he healed and he delivered them. The question is, how do you receive God's word? So, we have been told here that hearing is very, very important to us as humans. And um, you hear warnings through your ears. Uh, you receive information through hearing. Uh, direction through hearing and the likes. And our Father and the Lord was talking about several instances in the Bible uh, where, you know, um, people were receiving instructions or were having conversations. Paul had con uh, had things that it was not lawful for a man to repeat. Um, uh, uh, Elijah and Elisha had discussions as they were going towards the um, Jordan River. Uh, Apostle John in Revelation had things and he wanted to write them down and he was instructed not to, that they were for his ears alone. So these people got to hear things that, you know, other people could not hear and they could not even, they were not even allowed to relay that information. So which shows that they heard powerful things, which shows that they heard very, very important things. And we have been told here that words are powerful, especially when they come from God. Um, God's word can change situations. God's words created the God's words created the earth, the heavens and the earth. Um, faith comes by hearing God's word, and healing and deliverance also comes with God's word. And we are left with a question: um, How do you and I hear God? How do we receive instructions? How do we receive direction? To receive God's word effectively, ensure that nothing distracts you and that you are totally focused on listening to his word. Move away from distractions so that you can hear exactly what God has, wants to say to you in that moment. Also pray for God to open your spiritual ears so you can also understand what is being said. So we have been told here that we should avoid distractions if we want to hear God at any particular time. The instances we give 
um, typically the person who was hearing from God uh, was secluded. Like in the case of Jesus, when he was speaking with uh, Moses and Elijah at the Mount of Transfiguration, he separated himself. You know, he took some disciples away from others. And then even from those um, three disciples, he still separated himself further to avoid distraction so that it was between him and the people he needed to speak with and to get um, a word from. So let us avoid distractions if we want to hear God. Avoid distractions, avoid anything that will take your mind off of God and also um, ask God to open your spiritual ears. Um, ask God to remove every form of spiritual deafness so that you can hear whatever it is that is being said. In Revelation 2.29, the Bible says that those that have ears should hear what the Spirit is saying. You have spiritual ears, ensure that they are not deaf to what the Spirit of God has to say to you at every point in time. So ensure that your spiritual ears are open. If you've not been hearing from God, ask God this very moment to open your ears so that you can get instructions directly from Him. Our prayer point says, Father, please open my spiritual ears and let me hear from you always. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word that has come to us today. We ask, Lord, that you open our spiritual ears. Let us hear you. Let us avoid distractions. And Lord God Almighty, help us to constantly walk in your instruction and directions in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.